What's up guys and welcome to Wet Paint on the Couch. Alright, so today is August 1st. Uh, 2023 uh, this is the third no second episode of the second season I know there's a huge gap but I had to get things set I had to get a new camera I got a ring light because I'm the shit I got a I've I had this mic but I've learned a little bit how to use it and maybe try to get better audio I'm doing this as I uh, as I go like everything else in my life all right so I want to try something different um, as far as the type of uh, path that I'm going, um, I don't. I want to be kind of up to date and like talking about stuff that interests people and, and, and snatches and grabs people in here to uh, listen to me. That's the best. The best thing that I want to do. Um, just a little update on myself. I'm still sober. Hadn't touched a cigarette. I'm on Zoloft. Pill popping animal. Um, you know, that's just how I do it. All right. So the first thing that I wanted to talk about was Pee Wee freaking Herman died. Do you think Pee Wee Herman went to heaven? I don't know if you guys know the backstory on Pee Wee Herman, but it's best if you don't. If you are sad about his passing. Now, he wasn't weird or anything. Well, he did. I don't really know how to approach this angle. He got caught jerking it. I don't think that gets you to heaven. Uh, then something about child pornography? I, t- I don't know. Yeah, I don't think you can get into heaven with jerking off. Must be why. It's getting hot in here. Or. It's getting hot in here. So, so take off all your clothes. Yeah, man. Lots of people dying in the uh, big old spotlight. Um, The guy from Euphoria died. Like, these guys are, like, dying back to back. Angus Cloud, I think it was. What's crazy is, is he was 25 when he died. Of Supposedly, something was going on with his dad, and he was all sad. Well, his dad had died, so I know what something was going on with that. His dad had died, and he was taking it really fucking rough, apparently. And, you know, that kind of ties into what I do here is, like, the mental health stuff. Like, you got to really be on that. People really... Uh, tend to not think of mental illness, uh, not mental illnesses, but mental health as being a problem, especially for men. Uh, and we gotta, we, you know, if you have a problem, you know, just being serious right now is contact this number. You know, and, and they don't know how. They don't know how he died. They don't know if it was drugs, suicide, whatever. But it, that that to me doesn't matter. Somebody died, and their family doesn't have him anymore. Uh, same thing with Pee Wee Herman. You know, we I make jokes about it or whatever, but we got to be serious sometimes. To to maybe lighten this whole thing up, uh, I also I read a thing again. Man, MSN.com be crazy. I'm glad that that's my homepage on uh at work. Um. One of the island boys is come out as gay and apparently made out with his brother. Wait, I'm not going to say made out with his brother because I don't know the level of homophobia that should be put on this subject. And also, like, was it like a kiss like that? Or was it like, uh, 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 you know what I mean? Um, also, if you kiss your twin, is that incest? It's kind of like kissing yourself. You're genetically yourself. So, man, 
they should go on Ancestry.com. That should be a good site. I should make that site. Ancestry.com. See who's all related. Because I know a lot of people nowadays are related. They got to be. The way that they act. But see, I would think that kissing yourself, who knows if he was kissing himself. He could have been standing beside a mirror kissing a mirror. I know you've done it. We've all done it. We've all got real close to a mirror and started to kiss ourselves. That's what we do. Um, ah, back. Man, I'm really thirsty. Come get you some Belvai. Um, fuck. So this this is my. I talk about this. I think I don't know, all the time. I always forget. But this is my area down here, right? So. My wife thought that it would be a good idea to, instead of having uh, her or her dogs upstairs in the kitchen to where they can get the kitchen all dirty and messy and hairy and, and dusty and, you know, she decided to put them down here. Well, now guess what's all dusty and dirty and hairy? Not talking about my asshole. I'm talking about my downstairs room. I've, I, and, I, and then the worst part about it was is we planned on, well, I planned on putting them back upstairs. And I dusted everything down here, got it all clean. And then what do you say? Never washed the dogs, kept the dogs out here. Now things have accumulated <laughs> again. You know, this was more just a coming back episode two, season two Wearing tutus because you can't see my legs. I think, like, so, like, the first segment was a, like, kind of scripted, which is kind of, like, probably why I felt a little uncomfortable doing it. I, I, I need to use them more as, like, pinpoints, if anything. I, I, I'm still learning this thing. Like I said, we're season two, you know, and I know everybody likes the funny stories and all that shit. And I plan on doing that, uh, but I gotta get I gotta get back in the groove, man. You know I gotta I gotta piss in the pot. With me being sober, I got to channel. I mean, shit, this is embarrassing. Imagine coming down here and being in your own house. Your kids are upstairs. You're sitting down here talking to a camera. I, you can't feed off that. So I basically have to talk to myself. Kissed myself like the island boy did to himself or his brother, we don't know. Uh, to get some kind of you know, some method going, smoke a little meth. I'm trying to think of a story I can leave you guys and, and probably try to get this video a little bit longer, which I'm sure you know, not everybody can take it, take me in. And shorter videos means less memory on my memory card and also um easier to edit now not long um trying to think of a story okay me and my wife went to a funeral i don't know if i've said this or not See, okay, I get real bad anxiety. That's why I'm on uh, my Zoloft um, and Wellbutrin and stuff like that. So things when I'm trying to act like a normal person. Uh, One time we went, me and my wife went to a sushi place and the, the, um, the lady says, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I said, you too. I hate that shit, dude. I hate it. It reminds me of the one time where I called my kindergarten teacher mom. 
worst feeling in the world. And you know what? I think that stems, and I think that's part of my childhood trauma. I need to talk to my therapist about that. Uh, so I get I get twisted up in this shit. My wife loves it. My mother in law loves it. Everybody loves to pick on me about it. Um, so me and my wife go to a funeral of our friend's father, uh, who sadly passed. This video is all about dying. I guess seems to be relevant. This story. Uh, my career is also dying. So we sat down to service. It was a military service type of funeral. So like, you know, they were folding the flag up. They, you know, it was real nice. They shot the gun, scared the shit out of me because I didn't think that they were really going to do it because you only see that in like movies. Fortunately for me, I've only seen it in movies. Well, we got to, you know, hear some nice words that were said by his wife and him and his mom and sister. Uh, really heartbreaking. And afterwards, we got up and we started to walk around and uh, introduce ourselves and give our condolences and all that. And my wife is talking to his wife and they're talking and I'm just kind of, you know, because I'm not really close to them. She is m real close to them. So I'm kind of looking off in the distance and looking at the scenery and stuff. And uh, I turn around and they got this box you know and when you go to funerals people try to make you feel comfortable so they when you come in they have music playing in the background real low you know and um at the end of the service you know they played his uh, you know a song uh you know for like a moment of silence type of thing which wasn't really quiet because it was music playing but that's beside the point um well i looked over there was a table, and there were flowers on it, and I thought that it was a nice Bluetooth speaker. It was it was wooden and had it was like a shape of a lee or an acorn or something. It was sick. It was awesome, and I was like, man, where did y'all get that Bluetooth speaker at? It was the urn that his dad was in. Yep. Right to their face. Where'd you get that speaker? Things are crazy like that. But, you know, what? Uh, what's better than happiness is sadness? Sadness is happiness? Joking about something stupid? It was awkward. So as I put the shovel down, because I was going to go pick a plot, we left and talked and everything was fine. But uh, those moments. All right, I left you guys with a story. Um, you know, the regular stuff. Check out the clothing line, 59 Co. Uh, follow me, or like and subscribe the video on my YouTube channel. Um... I'm on Instagram, booth without the uh, booth with the e, Facebook, all that junk. Uh, I got it. You know, so I got that. Uh, I got that fans. You know what I mean? I got the. I got the only fans too. But you have to find that link. Um, but yeah, appreciate you guys for stopping by once again, and bye. Business hour with Scuba Steve. Oh, we get tired. <laughs> get your call C2, you like get your post and shit like All kind of shit like this. They thought that I was dead, but I'm alive. Call me Scuba Steve. Yeah. See you through Jedi. Uh -huh.